Hello people from the internet and welcome to my video tutorial on today how to set up Debian Packager or dpackage on Windows as a command line tool. To give you a preview of what we are going to have in the end of this tutorial is we will have a command line tool which we can use from anywhere with the command prompt from built on Windows where we simply type in wepackage for Windows Packager and it will execute wepackage.exe which is actually just the Windows clone of dpackage. It will be also able to run commands like uh, minus b for building or minus s for show anything and then type whatever you want and uh, yeah there you go. To start with we will obviously not install the original deep package, Debian packager, which is used on the iOS or on uh, almost any Unix system. We will use the Windows clone called WePackage, Windows, Microsoft Windows Packager, which um, aims for emulating a Unix system on the Microsoft system. WePackage is a command line tool which is used almost the same as the package but it's uh, a bit more complicated to set it up properly on Windows. So to start with we have to go to the windowspackager.org website and click on the downloads tab and then we will land here where we will click on the big download now button. This will redirect us to the sourceforge.net project site where we'll choose the wepackage folder, then the newest version, this time 0.9.10. And according to your system, you need either the wepackage64 for 64 bit systems or the wepackage.exe for 32 bit systems. You can check your Windows version by clicking the Windows tab on your keypad or simply clicking on start down on the left, then going to system controls, scrolling down to system and there down to at system type you will see the version of your operating system. In this case it's 46 bit, so we will download the weak package 64 uh, version. Click on save file and save it to some folder, um, maybe your desktop or I just created a folder called wepackage. This is just a temporary folder which we are not going to use uh, after we have successfully installed the package. After having downloaded your file, open the folder you have saved your file in and create a new folder inside that folder called wepackage. Now right click on your file, cut and paste into the newly created folder. Right click on the folder, cut the whole folder, go to computer Z program and in here paste. You will have to have administration rights but if you have them there will be no problem. So there you go, you should see this now. After you've moved the other file, open back on your old folder that you've created somewhere on your disk and right click new text file. Because now we are going to create the file that will open up wepackage when we run it. Call it the way you want it to call later on the command line, so you may call it either dpackage or wepackage.bat. That extension is necessary. Yes. And now you'll see it's become a Windows batch file which is executable and if you enter simply wepackage in the command line from here it will run that file. But now there's nothing in this file, so we'll have to edit it. 
to edit the file, right click and choose edit. What we are going to enter in here is the path to your other vpackage file. So you can just click um, here in the Windows Explorer and copy this and paste here. The problem is we have a space in here so we have to quote this. And this is only the folder. We'll have to add backslash, copy the file name by clicking on it, clicking again or however you want to rename it and then copy this in here before the parentheses and paste. So, so this should now be the direct path from anywhere on your system to this file. And because we don't just want to open the file, but we want to file, uh, open the file with all parameters given by the command line, we are going to add percent star. And now everything we enter in the command line will be then redirected to vpackage64.exe so that it can work on the parameters given file save. The last thing we need to do is to put this in a place where the command line will ever execute it with only entering vpackage. This is the system folder system32 on any Windows system. So right click on your file and copy it then navigate to C Windows system32 and paste it in here. Yes. And there we go. When now running the command line by pressing start or Windows R entering CMD and now entering vpackage, vpackage.exe will be executed. As you can see in this window, the command executed by the batch file will be displayed in here. If you don't like that, you need to edit the batch file. Navigate to your old batch file. You won't be able to edit it. The editor will say you don't have permission to edit it, whether you edit it as an administrator or whatever. So navigate back to your original vpackage.bat and edit it. You have to edit it the following way. Right click edit and now add before everything here you have to add an add and save file. This will not show it in the syslog. So close your file, copy and navigate back to system32. Now paste, copy and replace, continue. And if you now run prepackage, you see that there is no additional line added. We can now try the setup in a folder we have already set up the structure of a package with Deviant, um, control files and post inst and stuff and files that will be packed later. And we can now shift right click here to open command line in this folder and run vpackage minus b x which is the name of the folder here press enter and the package is being packed and placed where the original folder was. So it works. I hope this video was helpful and consider watching my other tutorials or even subscribe for new videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.